we're going to be restoring this utility knife. Found it in my dad's tools. It's old, pretty chipped up and and dingy yellow color. Here the phone's light brings out the green component of the paint. I'm going to open the unit up. You press down and twist like that and it opens on this hinge like that. And you see it closes like this. The operation is you push down with your thumb like that and the blade comes out of the end. That's how the mechanism locks at different points. There's a magnet. Here's the equipment, the circlip, the spring, and the thumb switch. I'm going to mask off the magnet and the mechanism using some masking tape. I don't want to remove the mechanism because it's all lubricated and kind of a turd to remove. There's a um, like a rivet holding it in there. So I just masked off the interior parts like this. There's the thumb switch. Looks like die cast metal. That's the slide mechanism. In the middle there was, you can kind of even see it through the tape, there's the what looks like some kind of rivet. It might just be hammered into place. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to restore the outside. We're going to cover the magnet here. I didn't quite get it with one piece of tape. So after I snug that down, my fingertips like that, the front edge was still exposed. So I took another little piece and then just put it down like that. I started with 100 grit sandpaper and you can see this is time lapse here. Um, what I'm going for here is to scratch up the surface. I'm not trying to remove all the old paint. I'm just trying to make a nice textured surface for the new paint to stick to. The same action here. We're condensing something like a half an hour and a lot of dust into just a few seconds. I'm going to give it a wet wipe to take all that dust off. Fresh paint doesn't stick to dust. I also end up wiping my hands off uh, pretty thoroughly off camera. I can see we'll give the inner edges a little wipe in case some dust got in there. And yellow dust got all over everything, as it were. This is jute rope, and I hang things that I'm painting from this. When I cut it, I always tie off the edge or the end like that with a small knot and that keeps it from fraying. That allows us to push it through the hole. And we're going to suspend it, kind of like that, for painting. I also suspended it from the end. That's a hair dryer, 1875 watts I'm using to cure the first coat. That's after I cured the first coat. I went a little thick and you can see down there the point. The end is a little garfunkled. So the next day here I've sanded it down again. This is 100 grit sandpaper. So this is, I'm sanding the first coat of paint. Now I'm not sanding to remove it, I'm just sanding to rough it up. I also wipe it off afterwards, off camera. That's after I've sprayed it with two coats of paint and three coats of flat um, polyurethane. Now I'm going to open it for the first time after that painting and take all the tape off like this. And Meg's helping me here. Unfortunately, our camera drifted around and we didn't notice, but we're trying to put the circlet back on. It's kind of tricky. Uh, we go through quite a few attempts, as you can see in the time lapse, but we eventually get it. And there it is. And I'm going to do the final assembly in real time here. And so it's done. What I'm going to do here is open it back up by twisting that little thumb screw. And then you can see the unit accepts a blade and it goes front side in like or top small side in like that and it presses down and it locks into a little there it goes it locks into place and then these um, these go on the small side facing that way and it's just a magnet and you can try to true them up there in the middle doesn't really matter and just close it like that and you press in and twist and you can see the little thumb screw thing actually locks on the other side when you do that there's the mechanism in operation the thumb switch you press down and forward and 
press down and forward like that and the blade will come out just like that for cutting boxes or materials and you can see how it works just like that and I'm gonna show you the unit in slow motion here we're just gonna go right across there like that you can see the textured surface it's not a perfect paint job there's a couple little you can see the yellow poking through that bright neon color it's not a perfect restoration it's just 